spent the morning in a hospital in Darlington, as you just saw, launching his plan to fix England's NHS crisis. One billion pounds of investment over two years will see more beds and more ambulances. But critics say until the huge number of staff vacancies is addressed, extra resources just won't help. Here's our health editor, Emily Morgan. Hello, Mary. Marion, the physio. How are you? Yeah. Welcome to modern day healthcare. It's an NHS service delivered to your door where you needn't leave your home. So are you ready to do the stairs? Yes. You're happy? Right. Yes. Good, good. Yes. Let's go. Marion's come to see Mary, who's had a severe spine injury. And alternates it. Yes, alternate. very good. She spent two weeks in hospital, but is now being cared for at home. You're more comfortable in your own home, your own surroundings and your own bed. Beds were OK in hospital, but it's much nicer being at home. I suppose it gets you out of hospital. It means you know that someone else can have your bed, someone perhaps exactly, more in need. Exactly, exactly. And beds are needed badly, aren't they? They certainly are, which yeah. is why the government wants Absolutely. more of this to improve delays oh, in emergency care. It also wants more of these rehabilitation hospitals. This might look like an ordinary hospital. In fact, it's what's called a step-down hospital, somewhere where patients can come to recoup, rehabilitate, in the community and it means their bed in the acute hospital is then freed up for other people. The government's two-year plan will see 8,000 more beds created, some in hospitals and some at home, and 800 additional ambulances. It's hoped this will help slash wait times for urgent care. The government wants to improve the number of patients seen in A&E within four hours to 76%, still well short of the 95% target. The aim is also to improve average response times for heart attacks or strokes to 30 minutes, even though the target is 18. If we can deliver on it, uh, then I think we will see, in fact I know we will see, the largest and fastest ever improvement in emergency waiting times in the NHS's history. That is the ambition of our plan that we've set out today. I feel really confident that we can deliver it. But with 133,000 NHS vacancies, others are not so sure the government can deliver this. Unless it's prepared to put its money where its mouth is on the workforce, then we won't get where we need to get to. Is what you're saying, that, that actually hospital leaders have said that to the government, we need more staff to make this work? Absolutely. Workforce leaders are saying that day in, day out, and it's what we hear from them when we talk to them, which is you cannot grow staff overnight. We're told a workforce strategy is coming. If today's plan is to improve services as quickly as the government would like, it surely can't come soon enough. Emily Morgan, ITV News.